Hey Facebook, it's Sarah McLaudry from Synergy Behavior Solutions out here in the awesome, amuse beautiful Pacific Northwest in Portland, Oregon. We're having an amazing day today. It's actually going to get a little hot for us. Um, I finally got my COVID haircut done. Um, super excited. No more long shaggy hair. Well, today though, we're going to talk about is picking up little dogs. So little dogs live in the world of the giants. And you're gonna hear me say that a lot. And imagine if you lived in the world of the giants and people just came randomly and grabbed you and gra picked you up without you knowing about it. It's a little scary. I like to think of it as back in the day when you were younger and you maybe had that aunt or a family friend that would come up and hug you in a way that you didn't like or um, pinch your cheeks, pat you on your head. That kind of behavior um, is really, really invasive. And we talk a lot about consent now with people and we're talking more and more about consent with our dogs. We wanna make sure that our little dogs are comfortable being picked up and that they are consenting to this behavior. Not every little dog wants to be picked up. We can teach them how to be picked up with some really simple tips. A lot of it has to do with how we approach picking them up. So I'm tossing treats right now because my little guy Bueller is here and once I get ready for training, he is ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with some training on how to pick our little dogs up. Bueller is um, about 19-ish pounds nowadays. Um, and so you'll see he's not super tiny. He does have a lot of length of leg. So he's not super low to the ground, but we're gonna talk about all of that. So let me get him in the picture here. All right, little B, come on. So um, one of the biggest things you wanna think about when you are trying to pick up a little dog is as soon as you come up like that, notice how Bueller backed up. He's like, ugh, creepers. I don't wanna be picked up that way. He's like, ugh, and he likes to be picked up. This is a dog who actually enjoys being picked up. And so as soon as you come at them from the front, you become that creepy giant person that you don't want to deal with. And so even there, he's like, ugh, he gave a nice little sneeze. Those are all of his displacement. I don't want to deal with that behavior. So, and that's with me sitting down. Now imagine if I'm doing it here and he's like, ah, oh, please go away, backing up. He thinks maybe I want a hand target, but that's not at all it. <laughs> all right, very cute. So the first thing I always like to do is work on dogs up on a higher surface so that you're not having to loom over top of them. And Bueller's happy to get up here on this bench. I just grab things in my environment because this is something you can easily set up at your front door. You could have a little boot bench, something like that. And so we're gonna work on, he's happy to be up here, so that's great. And then we're gonna work on, can I put my arm around him? He's like, wait, why are we up here? Where are we going? Awesome. I'm gonna give him some treats. Good, not bothered by that. So notice that I'm coming over the back side of him. He's trying to face my cookies is what's going on here, why he keeps turning around. Good, not bothered by that. He's like, more cookies, please. Good job, little dude. He does have a train pickup. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So we call it scoop in our house, so I wanna scoop him up. I'm gonna have, when I start teaching this, I have a whole handful of treats and I want the treats to be fed the entire time that the dog is getting picked up. Because if they stop eating treats, that tells me that they're too stressed. We're gonna go in, we're also gonna go behind the elbow, support, pull close to my body, and pick up. And he's happily eating, and down he goes. Good boy, good job. He's a little hungry right now, can you tell? He's a little grabby with his treats. a little grabby with training in general. So super excited. So one of the things I said, we want to make sure where we're picking them up. So notice that he's close to my leg. I'm putting my hand behind the elbow. I'm making an L, an upside down L with my hand. I want that thumb by his shoulder and the rest of my hand behind his elbow. Scoop. And I want to bring him in close to my body and squeeze him into my body so that he's not hanging out in the abyss. Because that's pretty scary. He's keeping his foot caught in my pocket. So now imagine if we picked him up, I'm gonna do it with how I would not want him to do it, where I leave him out. So we're gonna scoop, and then he's hanging here and he's a little unsure, you can see his little leg. And as soon as I bring him in close, he has more stability and his legs aren't flying around and everything like that. So simple little changes can make all the difference in 
how we pick up our dogs. We want to get that hand underneath their chest to give them that stability. I'm also going to think about what is my dominant arm. I'm going to pick him up with my right hand because that's my stronger arm so that I'm not struggling with this process. I don't want him to feel my struggle if I'm losing some strength. So we're going to actually try with a different object now. What? He's actually never been up on this object before, but he likes to get on things. So I'm going to, once again, put it on my right hand side. So it's a little bit smaller of a landing surface for him, and it's a little tall. So let's see if we can get some momentum. Yep. Okay. Lift him up for right now. I would want the object that you're using for your dog to go onto to be something that they're super comfortable getting on. So look at the difference of him wanting to get on there versus up. Oh, well, he's done this bench a lot. We're actually going to use the bench to the box for you right now. And that's a much easier transition for him. So we were talking about consent. The first part of consent of being picked up for Bueller is getting on the object. And if he's not comfortable getting on the object, we're not going to get consent being picked up. So we're going to have him come back on this bench again. I don't know if he's willing to get back on this box. Good boy. Nice job. It's a little bit slick, and it's a pretty small landing surface, which is why he's a little more concerned about it. So we're going to try the scoop here. And notice how Bueller actually, oh, treat fell, oh no. He likes to put his paw right on my hand to help balance that scoop. All right, and then down we go. But I always want to make sure those back feet land first when we're doing the scoop. I don't want him to dive off and land on his head and put a lot of weight on those shoulders, which can be damaging over the years. So I want to make sure that he's comfortable going down butt first, which is just a little unusual for the dog. Notice now that he's been up on his box a couple times, how much he was willing to get up here on his own, because now he's realized it's not so scary. So that's where that consent factor comes in. I'm going to turn him around, because I want to make sure, once again, that he's facing the right direction. So cookies, scoop, up he goes, tucked in tight. Good job. Good boy. Then once again, if he can get his foot out of my pocket, back feet first, on the ground, then there. Good job, dude. It's kind of funny. He keeps getting his foot caught right there on the downward part of it. He's chasing pine cones right now, looking for cookies at the tree. We're going to practice that down part again. I'm going to see if I can shift my pants a little bit. Scoop. And notice that every time I scoop him now, he's actually kind of helping himself. He knows what this game is. And so he's like, oh, yeah, we're doing scoop. I'm going to put my hand there to give you some extra help, Mom. I'm gonna get that ball untucked from my heel and go down and down. Good. So we also wanna think about if he's on the ground. I really don't pick up Euler if he is completely on the ground because I automatically become that big scary person again. But I do have an on the ground behavior that I teach most dogs. But I try to avoid picking him up from the ground as much as possible. So I have a behavior where if he wants to come and get scooped up, we can talk to him here. Now notice how he backed up. He wasn't so sure about this. I haven't actually worked on this in a very long time with him. I'm going to put you there. So he normally, he used to, if I would put my hand up like this, he would put himself in the scoop position. But he's like, not so much right now. So how can we train that? I'm going to work on luring him to get behind me. Yep. <laughs> there we go. So notice I, I clicked right as, might not have heard that because it's pretty quiet. I clicked right as soon as he got in that spot. Good. And I feed him in the position I want him next to me. And then I'm going to release him backwards so that he can do it again. Good job. That's where that release backwards is important because I don't necessarily want him coming in front of me like that.
starting to already put a hand on him. Please. See that hesitation there? That little hesitation tells me he's not ready for me to pick him up yet in that position. A lot of it actually has to do with the crumbs all over my fingers and he's trying to figure out where those streaks are. He's very, very food motivated. So he's giving me a little bit of a hand target. So I would not start picking him up from this position until he's standing here still for quite some time. Good boy. He's already getting better about it. Like I said, this was a skill I taught him a while ago. Just haven't done it in a long time. Good job. And notice now, as I'm teaching it, I'm on the ground. I am not trying to pick him up from a standing position. I would teach the position while I'm low, so I'm not hovering. And then I would add in some height to that position to work on scooping him up. I'm not going to demo it right now because he's shown me enough behavior for Bueller that tells me he's not super comfortable with the idea of me picking him up right now. And as much as I'd like to show you what that final product looks like, we were just talking about consent. And if I can't have him be comfortable standing next to me, I don't feel it's consent to be picked up. So the whole point is we want him to be comfortable being picked up. And we, if that's not ready to be done yet in this position, we're not going to do it. Good job. Nice chill, dude. So he's starting to calm down a little bit from his training session. We're going to do one more um, up on the box to show you what that looks like as a final and practice having him go down butt first onto it. Actually, I'm going to start, I'm going to pick him up from the box, but I'm going to put him down on the ground. So to kind of see the difference there. Good boy. Oh, drop cookie. You got it, dude. Come here. Oh, on the next drop. Awesome. All right, so got him turned around. I get those streaks out. Gonna scoop in tight. Good boy. Take a couple steps with him. See if there's no problem. Gonna give him a for hanging out with me. Now we're going to try to work on going down all the way to the ground, but first, we go. And I use cookies all the way down to keep him focused to not have him jump out of my hand into that. All right, I'm going to give him a little topple to keep him occupied. If anybody has any questions, I'm going to come and answer those questions for you. Bueller is a eight-year-old, we call him a Burnham Terrier. Uh, he is a patient of Dr. Bali's. As you can see, he's a little high strung. Um, Bueller does everything in his life um, at about 110%. So, um, all right. So any questions about picking up your little dogs and um, concerns? Hi, Mary. Hi, Laura. Nice to see you. They're big fans of Bueller. They knew Bueller when he lived in Illinois. So great to see you. Um, the biggest thing I want to really stress to everybody with picking up little dogs is it needs to be a partnership. Your dog has to know what's going to happen and be comfortable with getting picked up. And the first part of that consent, that's why I like using the higher item, is jumping up there. If he won't jump up there, he's not going to want to get picked up. And so that starts a whole consent process with my dogs being picked up. The other thing is um, I do some, for some dogs, depending on where they live, I will sometimes teach a emergency pickup where um, you pick them up from the ground. And I will do that if you happen to have, maybe you live in a high rise apartment and you have some reactive dogs you're worried about. And you're, there may be times where you need to scoop your dog up really, really fast. I actually do a different cue for that behavior than my scoop that I use every single day because it is different. It's going to be a quick grab, which is very different from my nice, trained, polite scoop that I did. With that quick grab, I teach it very much the same way. I just give it a different cue so that the dog knows what's expected of them. So it doesn't look like we have any specific questions about picking up our little dogs. If as you're watching this, you happen to have some questions about picking up our little dogs, please feel free to put them in the comments and we will make a comment for you and get you our answers. 
We do have a small dog webinar coming up called Petite Pooch, which is some, this was one of the things we'll be talking about along with some other activities for our little dogs and how to keep them safe. Oh, Mary just got a question, so I'll answer that in a second. Uh, that Petite Pooch webinar is coming up in August. You can check out our website or Facebook events to see when that is coming up. Unfortunately, I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, do you use a higher value of goodies for the quick grab since it might be scary? So yes, I definitely would. Um, and I would probably use something like a cheese stick where they can easily nibble on it or um, a squeezy tube so that they can eat the whole time. I would not start that quick grab until your dog is super comfortable with a controlled consented scoop. Um, so we have to start with that and make sure they're already comfortable being picked up before we try to do a quick grab scoop. Um, also too, at times with Bueller, uh, for off the ground, he, if I'm do not doing a quick grab, he will put his feet up on me and that is his consent cue that he's ready to be picked up. I just didn't show that this particular round. So thank you guys all for joining me. And if you have any other questions, I would love to hear them. And we look forward to seeing you again. Lorena will be doing the Facebook Live on Thursday at noon Pacific time. So hopefully you can join us then and have a great day.